Welcome back, and you know what time it is. It's time to check in with Kristen Smith over at WAX to see what's happening in the crop world. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, and how was your beautiful weekend? It was good. How was yours? It was very good. This morning, although, I was dodging deer. I had 20 on my drive-in today. 20? Good 20. Grief. That's a family reunion. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, oh, dear. <laughs> and, Bob, I've got the joke for you. Oh, okay. Okay, are you ready? I'm always what, ready. <laughs> what do you call a cow in an earthquake? Uh, oh, come on. This is pretty good. I'm sure Mike knows. He probably does. I don't think he does. What is it? A milkshake. Oh. oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, I got an easier one. Maybe this one is easier. <laughs> oh, what what do you call it when cows get sick? What do they have? What is it? More <laughs> dairy, dairy, <laughs> hay fever. Oh, oh, oh! You, you don't like my dear diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll let you keep working on that word. Right. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> Well, let's take a look at what's going on in egg today. Nothing about deer in the news. Governor Tony Evers announced that four appointments to the Wisconsin Department of Ag Trade and Consumer Protection Board, effective May 1st. Two of the appointments are current members of the board, and two are new appointees. Two from our area are Paul Bauer of Ellsworth. He's been the CEO of Ellsworth Cooperative Creamery in Ellsworth since 2008, and he's been reappointed for another six-year term. The second appointee from our area is Cindy Brown from Menominee. She's the president of Chippewa Valley Bean, and she's appointed to fill a vacancy. DACAP is accept accepting nominations for two seats on the Wisconsin Cranberry Board. The Wisconsin Cranberry Board has seven producers from across the state, and the board oversees the collection and use of approximately $500,000 in assessment fees paid by Wisconsin Cranberry growers. Producers that grow and sell cranberries in Wisconsin are eligible to nominate themselves or other growers. DACAP will conduct the Wisconsin Cranberry Board election from July 10th through August 15th, and elected growers will serve three-year terms beginning September 1st. Bayer announced last week that they're in the process of moving its 10 regional seed brands over to its Channel Seed brand lineup, effective 2025. Only one will affect us here in Wisconsin, and that's Young Seed Genetics. The move will not impact this growing season or next year's growing season. The changes Bayer is putting in place also do not impact the decalb as -Girl products. Young Seeds has been around for more than 75 years. Now that the warm weather is here, farmers will be out and about, and that means that they'll be on the roads. A few things to keep in mind are that it is illegal to pass slow-moving equipment in a no-passing zone. Not all farm equipment is equipped with blinkers and brake lights, so be aware of equipment making turns. And most importantly, it's better to be safe than sorry, so plan ahead and give yourself a few extra minutes. And Mother's Day is less than a week away, and that means you still have some time to get your mother something special. Greenhouses all over the area are open and ready to make your Mother's Day extra special. So get out there and get something nice for mom. And let's take a look at our market board on the overnight on the Chicago Board of Trade. We had your July corn. That was up just two cents at 598. July wheat was up a nickel at 665. July beans up six cents at 1443. Switching to the dairy side, barrel cheese was down one and three quarter cent. To $1.53. Your blocks took a big hit on Friday. That was down five and a quarter cent to $1.61 and a quarter. Double A grade butter turned it around by a quarter cent up two to two dollars and forty-four and a half cents. Switching over to those class three futures for May. They were down eleven at sixteen fifty-seven. June was down seven at sixteen ninety-nine. July was down just a penny at seventeen seventy-six. And then the markets were mostly steady into twenty twenty-four. And that's a look at what's going on here to kick off your Monday morning. All right, that's awesome. And I hope that, you know, next time you come up to your driveway, there's not a whole family gathering of, <laughs> of deer. Well, it was on my drive. So by the time I left Nilsville, I think I was like, I don't know, seven, eight miles out. I saw my first one, and they came all the way to Osseo. Oh, my God. You know, so, Chris, Chris, I got a couple of cow puns for you. Oh, I'm ready. Watch out. You don't want to be a butcher of any of these jokes. Oh. The stakes are high. The stakes are high. I got the moves <laughs> like Jagger. 
Ooh, I like that one. And I'm not a moosed. <laughs> You're not a moosed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come up with some good jokes for next week. All, All right. right. See you later. Sounds Have a good. good one. You too.